Hey guys, it's Ben here again. Uh, I'm gonna today. I'm gonna do another DIY project for you. Uh, everybody knows what this is out there. It's a they don't. It's a Duke dog proof trap. Uh, it's called dog proof trap because there's really no way a dog can get caught in it. Um, it's different than the Grizz grenade out there by the fact that it has the stake at the bottom. But we all know that these are $13 a piece. And I'm sure everybody out there has seen what's called the Bandit Buster, which is another dog-proof trap. It's not all self-contained, all nice and neat, like the do. But one thing you can do is turn it into something very similar to that. Uh, to do this, you need to get a Bandit Buster, which is $9.85. So, yeah, you save only a couple bucks, but in the long run, when you look at a dozen, it's a whole lot cheaper. You need the Bandit Buster pocket knife, and an old coffee container with the lid. As you can see here, this is the finished one I have. I painted it black, you can paint it camo, you can paint it orange, it really doesn't matter. Um, all you want to do, it's the simplest project out there, is if you can see how I have that cut into a notch in the lid, take it off. A square notch, you want to have these two folds on the side so it looks like a Christmas present. And once you do that, you go over to your other, you go to your coffee container, put the hole in the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that hole there or not, but uh, you'll run your chain through that on the end of your trap. It'll slide right through there. You can anchor. Just use a regular piece of re like your staking rebar. Use it just like that. Um, in lieu of using the plastic, because the coons do like to chew on them, you can use the metal coffee cans. All you gotta do is make sure that that fits inside there. And if you have sheet metal, sheet metal tools, it makes it a whole lot easier. But uh, all you have to do, take the trap, stick the trap down in, down the hole you cut, slide it in there, open, slide up the back half, slide up the other half. And I know it's going to be hard to see because it's black on black, but that trap sits down in there flush. Then all you do, take your trap chain, feed it down through the bottom, make sure you have it swiveled. Put the lid on it like that, wire it to a drag, stake it down, whatever you want to do. And that trap will stick his hand there down in there and you'll put your bait all, all around this bottom down here and there's some other ways you can do this like you can drill like two hole like two holes on either side and wire the lid closed or you can put an extra hole in the bottom down here for a, a additional stake to help stabilize it uh, it's honestly very simple and like I said like we all drink coffee out there might as well use the containers uh, the other thing I found is if you go ahead and put a lot of bait down the bottom of the trap and you put that one piece of like cotton like soaked fish oil in on the trigger that's slotted it will easily you'll have a coon there every time there you won't have them bait steel uh, if you want to get fancy with it you can super glue this down epoxy it down you'll still be able to set it you just pop the lid off still set it just fine but uh, I mean it's as heavy as the trap is itself it's all so uh, I hope uh, that can help you guys out maybe save you a couple bucks maybe even more if you get a whole dozen of them uh, I hope you can try it out and uh, please subscribe thanks guys